For those who haven't uh, read the plaque, uh, we'll read the plaque that's on the front landing gear of this lamb. There's, there's two hemispheres, one showing each of the two hemispheres of Earth. Underneath it says, Dear men from the planet Earth, first set foot upon the moon, July 1969, A.D. It came in peace for all mankind. It has the, the crew members' signatures and the signature of the President of the United States. That will be uh, there. Ready for the camera? As a permanent artifact. Ready for the camera? Pocket. Are you taking TV under? Watch the LEC there. I'm afraid these uh, spot materials are going to dusty. Yeah, surface material. Uh, I don't know how good your uh, lens is, but if you can touch it, it's above. Very much like a uh, very finely powdered carbon, but pretty, pretty looking. Can you uh, pull out some of my cable for me, please? The men have been on their portable life support systems for almost an hour. Uh, Houston, how close are you able to get things to focus? Now, this is Houston. We can see a buzz in the right hand. Uh, it's somewhat out of focus. Uh, I'd say we were focusing down to probably, oh, about a, uh, eight inches to a foot behind the position of his hand when he was pulling out the cable. Okay, how's the temperature look on there? Temperature of the camera is showing cold. I'm a little cool, I think I'll take uh, oh. I'm an intermediate now, Houston, and I show uh, 3.78. No flags, 74. Houston, roger out. And we'll probably need a little uh, distance at back location. Television camera. Look at the minus uh, my stretch. The direction of travel there. Traveling from uh, right to left. Right. So this one over here underneath the uh, SNH is the probe first hit. Minus my probe first hit. I got plenty of cable. You got plenty. Plenty more. Okay, I think I got the end of it. Something interesting in the bottom of this uh, little crater here. Uh, it maybe. Uh, I keep going. We got we got a lot more. Okay, getting a little harder to pull out here. The moon surface is just pocked with these little craters that are clearly visible as he walks across the surface, carrying the television camera to its permanent resting site. If you stand on the ladder facing forward, the minus Y strut is the landing gear to your left. Hey, I am, Buzz. 40, 50 feet, why don't you turn around and let, uh, let them get a view from there and uh, 
Okay. Tell me what the field of view looks like. They're backing into the cable. Okay. Turn around to your right, be better. I don't want to go into the sun if I can avoid it. That's right, yeah. I'll just leave it. All right, let it sit like that and walk around it. I just didn't have that field of view uh, going to be pick up uh, the Mesa. Uh, Neil, this is Houston. The field of view is okay. We'd like you to aim it a little bit more to the right, over. Okay. Okay, that's all the cable we have. All the way out. I'll start working on the shoulder. Uh, a little bit too much to the right. Can you bring it back left about uh, four or five degrees? Okay, that looks good, Neil. Yeah, that looks good, Neil. Okay, now, uh, think it ought to be farther away or? Closer. Can't get too much further, Wayne. Let's uh, try it like that for a while. I'll get a couple panoramas with it here. Uh, Roger, you look okay as far as distance goes, Neil, and we'll line you up again when you finish the panorama. Neil, and we'll line you up again when you finish the panorama. Uh, you're going too fast on the panorama sweep. You're going to have to stop for... I haven't stopped, I haven't set it down yet. That's the first picture in the panorama. Right there. Roger. It's taken uh, just a, a, about north, northeast. Tell me if you got a picture, Houston. Well, we've got a beautiful picture, Neil. Okay, I'm gonna move it. Okay, there's another good one. Okay, okay we got that one. Okay, now this one's right uh, down sun, straight west, uh, and I want to know if you can see an a angular rock uh, in the foreground. Roger, we have a Picking large up, uh, angular rock soil. in the foreground, and looks like a, a much smaller rock a couple of inches to the left of it, over. Right, and then on beyond it, about 10 feet, is an even larger rock that's very rounded. That uh, rock is about, uh, the closest one to you is about sticking out of the, the uh, sand about one foot. It's about a foot and a half long, and it's about six inches uh, thick, but it's standing on edge. Roger. Danielle, I've got the, uh, the table out. Get a bag deployed. We got this view, Neil. Straight south. Roger, and we see the shadow of the limb. And the hill. Roger, the, the little hill just beyond the shadow of the limb uh, is a, a pair of elongate craters uh, about the uh, Probably the pair together is 40 feet long and 20 feet across, and they're probably six feet deep. We'll probably get some more uh, work in there later. Now they move the camera again, and the limb is visible once more, and Buzz Aldrin comes into view, standing by the limb strut. Roger, and we see Buzz going about his work. How's that for a final... Uh, uh, for a final orientation, we'd like it to come left about uh, five degrees over. Uh, back to the right about half as much. Okay.
Okay, that looks good there, Neil. Yeah, okay. One hour, seven minutes time expended. Okay, you can make a mark, Houston. Roger, 41. Right. 